Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging Tutorial. This one is covering the Blend Tool. There is another video I've done on the Blend Tool if you're new to it, so I'll leave that link in the description. Um, this one is on digital waves, this sort of cool effect of these gradiated lines. Um, if you want to follow along at home, the artboard document size is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels high. And the colors you're gonna need if you want to copy these colors exactly, it's a CMYK document. Um, so you're going to need these four colors here. And we're going to have a radial gradient and a linear gradient. I'm going to come back to those and show you how to do those when we get there. Um, but if you want to press pause and add those colors to your swatches. If you can't see swatches, then go up to windows and swatches. You're also, for this one, you're going to need gradient. So those two uh, and stroke. So let's get started. Once you've added those, I'm going to go to a new artboard. I'm going to draw a rectangle with M is the shortcut, or you can select it from the toolbar. I'm just going to click in the top corner and drag down. Mine's already preloaded, so let's just make it orange. Um, if you can't see the smart guides, go up to view, smart guides, and snap to point. That just means when you move things around, you'll see these little anchor points and it'll snap to things. Makes it a bit easier. So. Because I've already done this before, it's going to pre-fill with the gradient that I've used, but let's just do it anyway. So gradient, I'll hit that gradient there. And if, for example, you start with a black and white one, so let's change that. You might see something like that when you first start off, or even a linear one. So make sure you change the type from linear to radial. It just makes it a circle in the middle. And then we're going to drag our colors onto the gradient. So the green and the blue that we added, we'll drag the green over here and the blue onto this one. And then the location of this gradient slider here, we want to move this to about 65%. So if you zoom out a bit, press Z and then press Alt and zoom out a little bit. Select this and then press the gradient in the tool in the toolbar, you'll see the circle of where the radial gradient goes to. So we just want to move this out to the edge of the artboard and then move this one down to the edge of the artboard. And that's our first gradient done. So then we're going to select it and press Command 2, which just locks it. It means we're not going to accidentally select it. Okay, so next we're going to use the line tool um, and we're going to click in the corner and we're going to drag to the other corner. With the smart guides, it should just snap to place. Then we want the stroke and we're going to make it yellow and the stroke weight uh, we can leave it one pixel that's fine we're going to select it and we're going to press alt until you see the double cursors click it and press shift and drag it down to the bottom and then we're going to make the weight of this one two pixels so you can't really see these because they're on the edge of the artboard but they are there so one's just slightly heavier so now select them both and go up to objects blend Blend options, specified steps, and 60 is about right. So click OK. Then you're going to go Object, Blend, and Make. And what that does is it blends those two lines together. If I move it slightly off, you'll see that's slightly um, thinner than the bottom one. So now with this selected, you go to the middle um, anchor point there and just drag it down to roughly about the halfway mark in your artboard. It doesn't need to be exact. And from there, we're going to go up to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Mesh. And make sure it's one row and one column. Click OK. Then press A, which is your direct select. And you'll see this, is, this has got a, an anchor point here. And take this into the anchor point so we get rid of it. What that's doing is it's changing the distance between the lines. So it's closer together up at the top and slightly further apart at the bottom. You can, if you want them even far further apart, move these ones up a bit. So we can just move these slightly up. That looks about right. So then from there, you can go back to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Mesh, and we can do two rows and we'll do six columns. Click OK. Then with the Direct Select tool, which is A, you're going to select individual points and you're going to move them up. 
if you want to move this one up exactly in line, just hold shift. And what we're going to do here is create waves. So you having a look as to where your waves go. All these are going to be different because it's quite subjective. So you can move them around. But what I'd like to try and get are these sort of lines of waves moving through. So just gradually go through it. And move these lines around. And once you're happy with how things are looking, we are then going to select the whole thing and we're going to go to Object, Expand, Object and Fill, OK. And that changes it into strokes. So you could change the individual stroke colors here, but we want to go one more again. So Object, Expand, Fill and Stroke again, and then that changes it to a block shape. It's still just 100% yellow. So we're going to add our gradient now. And this gradient here is yellow on the left, orange on the right. It's a linear gradient. And our location is 75%. And we're going to click the actual gradient tool. And you'll see all these pre-filled gradients in there. It looks a bit crazy at first. So just click above and drag down to the bottom holding shift. And then let go. And that'll just give us a gradient from top to bottom. If that was useful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.